The development of the Seed Production Technology for Africa, SPTA, has been a seven-year research project of collaboration between various research institutions and utilizes a naturally occurring maize gene called MS44 that eliminates the need for detasseling during both steps of the three-way hybrid maize seed production. In the process of uh, detasseling, sometimes there are errors, human errors in the process, which leads to self-pollination. Self-pollination now leads to loss of hybrid vigor, so the quality of the seed, the purity of the seed is reduced. When the seed is not pure, when you go to a farm, you find that when you look at it, it's not uniform. It is fluctuating. That's as a result of uh, contamination in the breeding process or in the production of the hybrid. Seed companies globally prioritize traits that increase yields and improve tolerance to climate and weather risks through maize breeding and hybrid seed production. Studies have confirmed that farmers prefer hybrids over comparable open pollinated varieties. In a case like this, we have a parent that does not produce the pollen grains. And then we have a parent number two which produces uh, the pollen grains. Yes. So when you cross them, uh, you get an F1 generation that has, uh, that does not produce the pollen grains. Why? It is because the gene for, uh, for not uh, producing the pollen grains is more expressed in the F1 generation. Small seed companies find it hard to meet the cost of detasseling and that impacts on availability. With the technology now, they will be able to afford and manage production costs, but also the competition will see prices of the hybrid seed go down. Whenever there is a challenge, you have to look for a way of circumventing. Just like when there were challenges of um, diseases, MLND, you look for a way of circumventing. So because we, over time we have noticed this problem of impurity, our scientists, and uh, in collaboration with scientists from other partners, thought about the way to circumvent this. So it's something to ensure continuous improvement. The SPTA technology was a collaboration of the Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, and partners Kotiva AgriScience, the Agricultural Research Council of South Africa, Kuali Basic Seed, and the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, CIMIT. For KTN News, I'm Paul Tiongo.